peaches what's up I am doing this look for you guys today that I have been wearing like crazy it's so easy it's so fast most everything I use is from the drugstore and what isn't is still pretty affordable um, I only use one kind of high-end thing I think a couple high-end things that you totally can find at the drugstore for a good dupe and if I happen to know of a good dupe I'll link those down below for you next to the product my hair is crazy today I'm just in this shirt that I am obsessed with already let me show you it I'm not your boo hair is like spinning out of control it's going crazy and wants to be curly because today is wash day so don't mind that I hope that you guys are having an awesome time going back to school so far that it's not too difficult. I know waking up is terrible and being at school is even more terrible, but I hope it's not too rough on you guys. Be sure to let me know down below what you want to see next on my channel so I can do that. I'm planning a fashion video that I cannot wait to do for you guys. I've been wanting to do that for such a long time, so that's coming up semi soon hopefully in the next two weeks i am going out of town the end of this week to florida for dustin's uncle's wedding and so i'll be out for a couple days but i'm still going to be on social media probably like crazy for you guys and i'm still going to try to upload something during that time and i'm going to vlog while we're down there so i have a lot of fun things coming up for you guys i'm like swinging my legs so i'm like hopping around i don't know i'm hyper today I finally figured out Snapchat filters, so if you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, please come laugh at me because the first day I figured it out, I was crying in my bed by myself. I was laughing so hard. So be sure to do that. I do that all day now, and I hope that you guys are not sick of seeing my face on there. This hopefully is not going to be too long of a video. I showed you guys pretty much every single step that I did because you guys like that kind of video a little bit more. So let's go ahead and get into this video today. Okay, everybody, so the only thing I've done right now is use my Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. This is an excellent moisturizer, I feel like, for anybody. Um, I typically have a little bit more oily skin, and I can use this all over, and it's fantastic and not too heavy. If you hear that little noise, that's my fan, and if I turn it off, I will literally die of a heat stroke, so I hope that you guys don't mind. Dustin just texted me and said that he bent his fingernail backwards, and that face that's like a squiggly line mouth, and I sent him the same face earlier because I got legit, like, the most difficult, deep paper cut ever today. I was opening my mail and just went, like, deep into it, like, bone level, and it hurt so bad. Bless you. Okay, so what I've been loving to prime with is actually the Monosat Chafing Gel. Hilarious, I know. I remember I was kind of embarrassed when I bought this because I was like, is this okay? But the consistency of it kind of reminds me of Vaseline. It's definitely not as thick, but that's kind of what I would compare it to if you've never um, used uh, Monosat. And it's like this. That's the consistency of it. Wow, one of my eyes looks super wonky. So I just go ahead and spread that all over. I don't use a lot of this because I feel like if I do use too much of it, it kind of, um, I don't know, it gives a weird texture to the foundation I use on top of it. So basically going through this kind of quickly, I used this Morphe concealer the other day that I've had for a while now and I was so surprised with how well it covered and it smells like vanilla for some reason, which is nice. Um, and this one, I'm not sure what color it is. It does not say literally anywhere on this package, but um, I just use that over my chin before my foundation, and the reason I do that, if you guys have been with me for a while, you'll know, I have polycystic ovary syndrome, I grow a little bit darker, thicker hair on my chin, so I do shave it every single day, so I just do that to give myself some coverage. For my foundation, I'm going to be using this Tarte foundation brush, this is one of my favorites. It's not like I was underwater there for a minute. Look at how good that coverage is. What? Then I'm going to use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer. This is an NC15. Um, and what I've been doing to cover my dark circles, if you guys cannot tell, I'm not sure, and tell me if this is a thing if you know that it is. I usually sleep on this side of my body, and I guess I sleep kind of like on my stomach but with my face, like kabam, against my pillow. And I've just noticed that this under eye circle has gotten so much darker. Both of them today don't look that good because I had a terrible night of sleep last night. But is it a thing that if you sleep on that side, this side gets puffier and darker? Because I was thinking that really makes sense for it too because everything is kind of shifted that way during the night. Anyways, ramble. I just take this little concealer brush. This is actually from e.l.f. It was a couple dollars and it's perfect. I get my concealer and I get a lot of this. Um, this whole tutorial is not really on being like 
super lightweight. It is easy, it is quick, and the coverage part just depends on what you're comfortable with. So this is what I've been doing. I take a good bit of that and I just start putting that right in my inner corner and then work it on the darkest part of my circle right here. And I'll bring it up there too. Okay, so that's pretty much what I do for that. You don't have to worry about it being You don't have to worry about it being blended on your eyelid or down here or anything like that because this is just step 1 and obviously we haven't even done foundation yet, so that's coming. So, um, that is what I like to do for that. Sometimes I like to go ahead and bring that down towards the sides of my nose and then the corners of my nose too because for some reason I tend to be red there. I did wax today so my lip and kind of above my brows might be a little bit extra red. So then what I do is I take my Age Rewind um, concealer. This is just the illuminating brightening one. So this is basically like the highlighter version of this concealer. And I just take that wherever the end of that MAC concealer is and I also apply it to my hair. And then I just take it up a little bit more too. The reason I've started doing this is because I feel like if you go right over to begin with the concealer you just laid down, it kind of blends it so it doesn't give you as much coverage, whereas if you do this, you can blend it with the rest of your foundation without having to take any of that excess off. So that's what we're looking at. So there's your MAC, then that's going to be the Age Rewind. And then when we put our foundation, you can kind of blend this line instead of having to blend out all the MAC stuff. So quick funny story, the other day I had a staff meeting so I had to get up a lot earlier than I usually do and I was kind of speeding through to get ready and I was running behind and when I got to my makeup I was putting on my foundation and I started with the Milani um, Conceal and Perfect. This is the lightest color they have which is Creamy Vanilla which is 01 and I want to love this so much and I really do love the coverage of it and I kind of even love the formula but this is the lightest color and it is Oompa Loompa orange on my face and I had completely forgotten that so I like started applying it and I was going through getting ready for work and then I was like ooh that is not good so I started to try to apply some more foundation that was in a lighter color um, and then when I got to work every single person I came in contact with that day was like I love your makeup it looks so good and I was like I give up. So what I've been doing since then is taking my L'Oreal Infallible which is my favorite go-to and I'll always love it and mixing just a touch of the Milani with it as well. And then I'll mix it on both of my cheeks like that and start getting some coverage. So it's looking a little funny right now. The last thing I do to brighten up under my eyes is take my Naked from Urban Decay. This is the concealer, and this one is in Fair, so it's, I think, the lightest that it comes in. I'm not totally sure. Swipe, swipe, swipe. And then I might do two little additional ones there. And I do like to kind of take this in the inner corner like that as well. Then to blend that out, I like to take this Morphe E8. One of my subscribers told me that I absolutely had to have this brush for underneath my eyes, and that's all I've used since I've gotten it. And I just blend out this line over here, and then kind of the ends of everything. I don't blend a lot on the actual where I need that coverage, because again, like um, I said at the beginning, I feel like that takes away a lot of what you were trying to put down. So I'm just using the end of the brush to blend right underneath my eye. Cool. So foundation's done. Then to set everything, I'm going to take my RCMA powder. And then to set underneath my eyes, I like to take the Morphe E12. This was the other brush that I was recommended. I just dip it in here and then I lightly set that. And then I set the rest of my face with my Airspun from Cody. I find this at Walgreens and I'm just using a brush today to set everything else. Okay, so then I'm going to use my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is just one of the travel size in Champagne. I really, really like this primer. I obviously forgot to mention that I did fill in my eyebrows and I just used my Anastasia um, Dip Brow in Dark. 
I think. Yes, and that is that. If you guys want a new updated brow routine, I can do that. I haven't changed a whole lot, but if you're interested, let me know and I'll do it. So here's the magic that is literally so recreatable and so easy. I just took my Too Faced um, palette in Matte Eye, and I tell you guys all the time when I use these colors, they're really recreatable. You can find them in the drugstore and a ton of different uh, lines. So I'm using these two colors here. They are Tufted Suede and Chinchilla. It is these two colors here. I'm just taking this Morphe brush. It does not have a number on it, but it's just a basic um, crease brush. It's super fluffy. And I'm starting with Tufted Suede, and I'm just going to lightly start putting that towards the outer corner of my eye. And I'm just going to take it up about halfway here. I am going to take it out a little further than I typically would though. So just a little bit past your eye there. Now I'm going to go back in with Chinchilla. I'm just going to use the same Morphe brush. And I'm just going to put that on my outer corner. Now I'm going to use this brush that came with my Naked Smoky palette. I have never used this until I discovered that this end of it is perfect for underneath your eyes when you're trying to smoke everything out. And I'm just going to use the same colors like I did on my top on my lower lash line. Then I'm taking Chinchilla to do the same thing. For liner, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal Black Buster. You guys have heard me talk about this a ton. It's my favorite liquid liner. I just think it's perfect. And the thing I'm doing different for this than what I do normally, I'm only going to line halfway and then do a wing instead of taking it all the way in and doing a wing. So I'm going to start right about here and then start my wing. Okay, so that's about it. I'm going to do the same thing over here. So now that liner is done, I'm going to take this ColourPop shadow. I love these. They're only a couple dollars and they last forever. This is in the one Amaze and it just looks like this. I did a little haul, I think, a long time ago of all these ones that I got. And I just like to use my finger for this, so I'm just going to get a good bit of that on my finger here. I'm just going to pat that where I don't have shadow, so towards the inner corner. And you can totally do this before liner if you're not like me and forgot to. And then that's it for eyes. So right now what I'm going to do is use some mascara to open up my eyeballs. I just like to use the Lash Blast Volume. I think this was from CoverGirl. I always forget for some reason. This is from CoverGirl. I'm going to use it on my lower lashes and then I'm using Rimmel Scandal Eyes on the top. I love this. And it's supposed to be a dupe for the Too Faced um, mascara. And I really like this. So I'm going to do that real quick and then I'm going to show you guys everything else I do to finish up my face. Okay, so my eyes are done. Super easy, super fast. So I'm going to show you guys what else I do for my face, what I have been doing. I have been using my Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzer like crazy. I think this is an amazing deal. It's been on sale on their website forever and you get pretty much every bronzer that they've ever made. So I like to take um, Milk Chocolate Soleil, which is this one up here. I just take this contouring brush. This is from e.l.f. also. I found this at Target and I think it was $3. And then I just get some color on there. And I go ahead and contour. And I leave that line really harsh for just a minute. Okay. Then I use whatever's left over to go ahead and go down my nose on the side of it. 
This is actually in that palette also. I just used my full size one. This is from Too Faced again and it's the pink leopard bronzer. It looks like this without my finger in the way. I'm using a Morphe blush brush. It does not have a number. I'm going to get some of that and then just blend right where that contour is. Just like this. I feel like this is a really, really good um, blush slash bronzer because it does have both in there. Um, it's really, really natural looking, which I adore. And then I just take that up here on my hairline a little as well. Then my last little step is to use another item from ColourPop. And this is a highlighter. It is Smoke and Whistles. And it looks like this. It is so gorgeous. And I actually like to take a sponge. This is just the one from Real Techniques. And get some product that way. I feel like this is super good if the sponge is wet. But even if it isn't, this is a better application in my opinion than any other. And then I just like to put that over there. This does emphasize my texture a little, but you know what? It's a highlighter. I feel like it's going to do that no matter what because I have texture and I am okay with that. And because I do um, have to take a little bit special care of my chin, I don't put any down there because I don't want to emphasize the fact that I had to shave my chin. And then I just take whatever's left over from my blush and just do that down my neck a little. I've been in love with this lip liner recently. It is from Milani and it's all natural. It is perfect I just feel like for any base of a lip color so I'm just gonna start doing that then I'm gonna take color pops cookie this is a lip matte cream it looks like this it smells literally delicious and I'm gonna smooth that all over Then I like to take this Vice lipstick. This is a matte lip gloss, I guess, from ColourPop as well. Everything wore off of it, but I know that that is what it is. And I'll just take a dab of that in the middle. And then I just blend that out with my fingers. And that is it for this. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. All of these products were super, super affordable. I felt like, except for maybe one or two items in here, that you could totally find at the drugstore for cheap and affordable. And yeah, so if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave me down below what you want to see in my next video. I'll have all of my social media links and everything that I used today in the down bar below if you're interested. I hope that you guys enjoyed my crazy hair today and this fun look. I've missed you guys so much and I felt so much better since I uploaded my last video. So I appreciate all of your support and love, and I will see you guys so soon. Bye.